Hey everyone, I'm here to take you through a fall Thanksgiving craft. I love the fall, I don't know about you, but I love it. The cooler weather, I got my flannel on, and like pumpkin spice everything, I don't even have to say anything else, pumpkin spice. Fall leaves, I love the look of them, but I mean, how do you preserve them? So I thought I could come up with some napkin ring holders. So I found some leaves in my neighborhood and this amazing um, silicone mold, and I just cut the stem off here to make sure that it fit. We're gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio of hardener and resin. We're gonna do um, a pretty shallow pour. And now we are gonna mix. Okay, so as I mix, scraping the bottom always for three minutes. Thanksgiving dinner is my favorite, favorite meal of all time. Turkey, gravy, cranberry, oh my goodness, and stuffing for sure. I could just have a plate of stuffing and I'm happy. I like the box stuff, I do. I like the stovetop stuffing. Okay, so I've mixed my resin. It really helps to have a silicone mat handy to put the, uh, the wet spatula on and it's gonna make cleanup way easier as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour and a shallow pour at first and then we're gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna put the leaves in and then do a second pour on top of the leaves. And the amazing thing about working with resin is that it self-levels. Okay, so now it's poured, and I'm just gonna get my torch and torch out all of those bubbles. We're just gonna let it sit for about half an hour or so. And the reason for that is because it's gonna start to cure, it's gonna be a little more jelly-like, and the leaves are just gonna submerge and, and stay put that little bit more. Okay, so we'll see you in half an hour. Okay, so we're back now um, for our second pour. What we're gonna do now is to put our leaves on and do our second coat. So we're gonna put it on with the top side showing. And that way we have full control over uh, any bubbles and we can make sure it looks absolutely perfect and beautiful. And we've got just a little bit sticking up here so I'm gonna use my toothpick and submerge it. So we've got all our leaves in, submerged in the resin, and now we're gonna get ready to do our second coat. Now we're gonna take out all the bubbles with our torch again. Good, looks good. We're gonna let this sit for uh, 24 hours and tomorrow we'll put the backing on and I'll show you how to turn these into napkin holders. We're back and uh, all this talk about pumpkin spice latte yesterday, I had to go out and get one. I was thinking about it all night long, so if you don't mind. Mm. Okay, I'm good. So we're gonna reveal now our um, leaf napkin ring holders and here they are, they turned out beautifully. So we're just gonna pop these out and one of the beautiful things about using the silicone, it's so easy to, to just pop these discs out here. Totally preserved. Pop out this guy here. You can see the leaf is curled. So it's kinda got a 3D effect. I think that's really neat. If you don't want that though, I'd suggest leaving um, the leaves in a book maybe for 24 hours before you resin them. And you'll see too, they're a little pliable at this stage. The reason it's a bit pliable right now is because it doesn't have any backing on it. If you had poured it onto a canvas, it would be hard at this point as well because it has something to hang on to. Not to worry, after a couple days, it'll be rock hard. I forgot how sweet these are. Okay, so the next step now is we're gonna turn these into napkin rings. You can use any napkin. A linen one would look really, really nice. Any ribbon, I found this really neat rustic looking trim, I guess, but you can use any kind of ribbon or raffia. So fold it in half and find the halfway point. Just mark it with a Sharpie. I don't use power tools, but I got my hot glue gun. <laughs> just put a little dab, find your halfway point, pop it right in, okay, and just wrap your napkin. Okay, I've got some other ones I made earlier, which I can show you. So there you have it, a really simple, easy resin craft for you. This makes a perfect addition to any holiday Thanksgiving table. So thanks so much for watching and happy Thanksgiving. Mm. I feel kind of sick now. <laughs> this is too sweet, I feel sick. I don't think I can drink this anymore.